Hello, my name is Lita Gaither Zones, and welcome to the Meditation Corner. I will present to you a biblical contemplation story with breath. And this one is entitled, Feast at the Table. It's based on Matthew 4 and 4. Now, since this is going to incorporate breathing, I would like to make sure that you're breathing properly. And first off, please get into a comfortable position, either sitting in a chair or laying down on your back with palms up like this. And make sure that you're in a quiet place or a peaceful place. It could be at home or your office at work or a classroom at the beach or the park. As long as it allows you to have some sense of solitude and quietness where you can spend some time with you and the Holy Spirit. So now let's practice our breathing and I would like for you to breathe in through your nostrils and then breathe out through your mouth. And when you breathe in, I would like for you to breathe in and have all of that air go to your diaphragm. So your diaphragm should expand. And then you're going to hold it for about a count of four and then release it. And your release, your breath, the breath that you release should be longer than the breath that you take in. And when you release that breath, I would like for you to pucker your lips like so as if you are kissing God for every breath, every day, and every moment. All right, so let's, let's practice. Breathe in and hold it. And release. Slowly, smoothly, and with control. Good. Let's try it one more time. Breathe in and hold it. Now release slowly, smoothly, and with control. Good. Now I'm about to start to start the story. So please close your eyes. Make sure you're in that position of relaxation. And here we go. First, I'm going to ask you while you have your eyes closed to breathe in and hold it and release. Breathe in again and hold it and release. Breathe in once more and hold it. And breathe out. Now I would like for you to imagine you're sitting at a table with Jesus. You're in a beautiful, intimate dining room where there's only you, Jesus, and 12 servers. Jesus claps his hands and the servers begin to bring out these amazing dishes on the most extraordinary china. There's a variety of salads, breads, soups, fruits, nuts, grains, and vegetables. In addition to this assortment, an array of drinks are served as well. There's endless varieties of waters, sparkling, flavored, 
iced and fruited. Then displayed in the most finest china that's trimmed in gold are teas, coffees, and fruit juices in every flavor that anyone could ever imagine. But oh my goodness, on silver platters, there's lamb, beef, chicken, fish, and even pork that's baked, fried, broiled, boiled, or grilled to perfection. The recipes from every nation and culture are represented in the most exquisite presentation. And to your surprise, there's even more. Jesus claps his hands again and the servers bring out the most incredible desserts. Endless varieties of cakes, pies, cookies, ice cream, puddings, crepes, custards, pastries, chocolates, fudges, candies, sorbet, and bars. Now you feel a sense of fulfillment that's immensely enjoyable. Jesus sees how delighted you are and says, my written word in the Holy Bible is just like this meal. Every word is to be chewed, eaten, and digested for your nourishment and well-being. Every word has been purposely prepared and selected just for you. I encourage you to dine as much as you like. The Holy Spirit is here to serve and guide you through each spiritual meal. I welcome you to feast at the table today and every day. Feast and be holy, for you were not created to live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen, amen, and amen. Breathe in and hold it and breathe out. Breathe in and hold it and breathe out. Last time, breathe in and hold it and breathe out. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a fabulous day, week, month and year. Bye-bye.